Hello beautiful people of YouTube, Wayne Hackman here aka Waxstar. In this video we're going to take a, a Raspberry Pi Model 4, this is the 4 gig version, connect it to my iPad and without any internet can turn this into a viewing screen so that you can use your Raspberry Pi 4 as a standalone computer. I've been using Raspberry Pis, well, ever since the first one came out, and I've had a lot of fun with them. I've built a phone server, I've built various radio projects with it, I've used them as standalone computers. I think they're just amazingly versatile pieces of equipment at a really excellent price point. And this is a Raspberry Pi Model 4. Had this well, for a while, and Obviously this is in a case, but you can see that on the side of it, the game changer is this USB-C port. And what this enabled you to do is very simply take a USB-C cable, connect it into another USB-C device, and obviously that's how you get power into the device. But it's also enabled things like networking and other things on here as well, which means that it's possible to plug this into a USB-C computer, not have any internet connection, and then you can VNC into this device. So what do you need for this? Well, you need obviously the Raspberry Pi 4. And why the Raspberry Pi 4 is important it is has a USB-C input. And the great thing about this USB-C input is it's not just designed just to give the Raspberry Pi power as well. You're able to transfer data and various things uh, through that as well and create a network through that USB-C port, which is important for connecting to the iPad. Now on the iPad, what you need to do is also install a VNC viewer as well, and I've got one installed here. You also need a pretty decent USB-C cable. Now not all USB-C cables are created equally, and this is obviously USB-C to USB-C. You can plug it into the USB-C of the iPad, and then into the Raspberry Pi. Now this Raspberry Pi has got an operating system on it called RigPi, which has a whole load of ham radio delights on it, which I will show you. But it's built on the Raspberry Pi operating system that you can download from the Raspberry Pi website. There's also one other thing that you need to do is just do some very basic configuration. Firstly, you need to configure the Raspberry Pi and you need to do that obviously having connected this into a keyboard and a monitor or that you've remote accessed this through another machine. You also need to configure some network settings on here. Now just to prove that this is not going through Wi-Fi, I'm going to switch the Wi-Fi off. There you go, Wi-Fi is off and so this has no access to the internet. And so quite simply to get this to work is first thing you need to do is you plug the USB-C cable into the iPad and then the USB-C cable into the Raspberry Pi. Now you probably can't see this, uh, but through the grill here, you can see that the lights have come on on the Raspberry Pi. Makes a nice little package here and obviously has opened up all of these USB ports, which I can then con connect my radio and also the Sigma link into. Uh, while that's booting up, what you do is you go to settings and what you'll notice is under the Wi-Fi here, you will get Ethernet up here. And so it's obviously created a Ethernet connection between the Raspberry Pi and also the iPad. And if you click on the Pi 4 here, you can see that it, the Raspberry Pi has created a local network of 1055.05 or 01 is the address of this device and also it has given the iPad 05. Now, why is that important? Remember the 1055.05 because you're going to need to connect to this Raspberry Pi, which is 10.5501. 10 and so now if we go to the VNC, we can create a new connection. And so what was that? 
zero, the iPad is five, the Raspberry Pi is one. We're also gonna call this, I'll call this Rig Pi Local, so I know that that, and then if I click save, here we go, uh, it's all, it's ready to connect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on connect, and of course in the connection process, you need to set this up, um, uh, to put your username and password in. I'm gonna remember that so I don't have to do that again. So for all Raspberry Pis, it's Pi, and then whatever password you have set it. Uh, I'll just put that in at the moment. And of course, there you go. Now you have access to the desktop of the Rig Pi here, or the Raspberry Pi. You can see the Mumble server has uh, opened up, which is useful. You can see that I can interact with the mouse here. I click on the Raspberry Pi icon here. You can see, because this is Rig Pi, I've got F-L-A-R-Q, F-L-Digi. Uh, the thing that I will use quite a lot uh, is the um, W-S-J-T-X. I can open that up and you're ready to roll. And so you can see now that that will interact with my radio when I've configured that. And I can use this for all my ham radio delights. The power is coming from the iPad to power what you have here. And another cool thing is what you've got in the side of the Apple keyboard, if you use that, and there's USB-C on the side here as well. So you can actually plug another power source into this and it will all power. Now, there is a little bit of configuration that you need to use to get this to work. And what I'm do gonna do is I'm gonna direct you to a website, uh, which will come up on the bottom here, and it will give you all the instructions that you need to program this device. Once you've programmed it, it is as simple as that, and you can see that there is no Wi-Fi connected between the two, so you don't need a Wi-Fi connection to, to use as a, a sort of go-between. This is just directly connected to each other and you can see that the possibilities are endless. So I'll put all that information at the bottom right now. Just a very, very simple look at how you can take your iPad, provided it's got USB-C, and I know this works with an iPad mini, and I also know that this works with my, I, my, my MacBook Pro. You can take them out into the field. You don't need any Wi-Fi. You can connect your radio devices into this, or if you're a programmer, you can use this to program in a cafe or something like that. And you've got a nice, sleek, very simple set of equipment here that you can put in a backpack very, very easily. And there you have it, how the Raspberry Pi can talk to your iPad. You can use your iPad screen as an interface to control the rig pie and you're all good to go as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video